Hello guys, so welcome to Keo Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this kitchen over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, we'll be creating this sitting kind of a stool or a you can say bench. Let's take a cylinder. Let's just push it up, resize this, let's go into this, so let's just increase its uh, sides over here convert to editable poly let's just select the edges and let's just give a bit of chamfer over here so let's select the polygons and let's give a bit of inset and click OK and let's just extrude it down till here click OK let's use a bit of swift loop let's select the polygons over here and let's give a bit of extrude by local normal just reduce it and click OK. So now let's go into this. Let's take again a line tool over here. So let's just take a line tool and rendering enabling viewport. and let's just drag it over here so we can go onto this top view over here and again mirror it copy it in y axis drag it over here select this duplicate it that's it so just mirror it first in x axis just drag it over here go to the top view rotate it say ok now again let's go into this again let's take one more line and let's just combine this both again let's give a bit of mirror copy it over here just drag it over here the save your file
so again go into this okay, let's just drag it till here slightly push it inside and mirror it copy it and just drag it over here just drag it inside. so select this and shift and rotate it make a copy of it that's it now let's again take a cylinder right from the top view over here and let's reduce its height segments and let's give a bit of a taper modifier so let's just place it over here scale it push it in this way So just duplicate it just duplicate this so again go to the top view over here go to the top view select this scale a bit push it a bit up and let's just duplicate it so let's just save as your file Let's just save as it. Now, what we can do over here is like, let's go over here and let's create this basin part. So let's select the polygons over here. So let's select this part and let's just give a bit of inset click ok and let's give a bit of bevel and click ok now let's go into this side view over here for the tap let's just take a line tool over here let's take a line tool let's select the vertices and let's just give a fillet over here rendering and increase its thickness of it and just slightly push it over here so convert to editable poly so we can just put one swift loop over here select the polygons and slightly give extrude and click over so select this just slightly push this up over here so again go into this press 4 and slightly give a bit of extrude a bit not much and again use a bit of scaling to 
this 4 and extrude it down. That's it. So whatever details you want, you can definitely generate it. So just save your file over here again. So guys if any doubts please write it in the comment section. So we will continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.